Let him fight. What is up guys, Beagler Outdoors here. Today we have a really good video. So if it's your first time here, like and subscribe, hit that like button, thumbs up, hit it all so you can know when we're putting up new videos. If it's your first time here also, uh, we are mainly a hunting and fishing channel. We do a lot of outdoor stuff also. You can see there's some videos of outdoor stuff, but hunting and fishing is what we do. My passions are bass fishing and hog hunting. Those are my two passions. But we do a lot of other fishing, uh, you know, a lot of videos on fire starters and camping and stuff like that. But it's a pretty much an outdoor channel dedicated to Florida outdoors. So without further ado, what we're gonna get to today is, as you guys know, I had bought a bog death grip. Uh, tripod for my gun and I will put the video right here and it will tell you all about the bog death grip I love it uh, I even bought the carbon fiber one and there will be a link in the description to the bog death grip so you can buy one of those the only thing I didn't like about the bog death grip was the saddle that came on it right here is heavy okay this thing is probably about I'd say three to four pounds okay and it it does the job good but if you want something lighter or if you're trying to walk and stalk and you don't want to carry something heavy you know this this heavy thing it's just it's too heavy so what i did was i did some research and i found a way to convert this heavy thing to that pretty thing look at that that is pretty. So I'll tell you how this all works once I tell you how to dismantle your Bach death grip, okay? Well, so, well, actually, I'll get right to what this does. So this is basically a swivel head, okay? And now when it, I've learned when it comes to swivel heads, there's a big difference. And the big difference is in price. Some of them cost 300 bucks, some of them cost 80 bucks. This one right here costs $107. And this one is, I mean, the bearings on it are so smooth you know the ball doesn't catch it's really nice it has you know two leveling bubbles um and from what i did my research this is about the best value you can get without being cheap or without i say getting ripped off because a ball head's a ball head but you know if you look at a lot of these other tripods they're four or five hundred dollars and it's all about the ball head all the tripods they're, they're, they're all pretty much the same uh, it's all about, it's about this head right here. So what it does is, you know, the bog death grip, you put your gun in here and you tighten it down. Okay, you tighten it down and you could use it to swivel around. Now this thing is heavy and bulky and it's just, I mean, this gotta be four, that might be five pounds. This thing's heavy, okay? I mean, it's all metal. It's, just, it's heavy as heck. So what you do with this, okay? When, I, when I'm going to show you what you need to do to be able to convert it to this, um, you, you get one of these and then on your rifle, I have mine here, uh, you get the actual mount and I will clear the rifle for everybody online who's going to cry, clear, no mag. Uh, you buy this mount, which I'll have the link to the mount in the bottom. This is an M-lock mount, okay? And it mounts, it goes on. Okay, and it fits right on there and you lock that and then when you have it on, okay, you have a ball to move around any direction you want up and down and it locks extremely tight. So if I put it all the way like this, okay, and I lock it, all right, it's not moving. So you see how tight it is, okay? What I'm gonna do is just take that off real fast. So, you know, I, I'll have a link to this M-Lock adapter in the bottom of the description and we'll get into that. So we'll put that here for now. All right, so you're gonna probably wanna know how we convert it. Okay, it's pretty simple. So 
what you want to do to convert, you want to buy a couple things, okay? Number one, you're going to want to buy this. This is the Arctis LB52, okay? Uh, 52 is the size of the ball. And it supposedly can hold up to 50 pounds, okay? I'd go with the 52 because why not go with something bigger? You know, if you put a heavier gun, a 50 caliber on it, this is going to hold it up, no problem, okay? So you're going to have to buy that. And I'll have a picture of that right here. Okay. And you're going to have to buy the M-Lock adapter for your gun. I have a picture of that right here. Okay. Uh, this is $107. The M-Lock adapter, I believe, is $26. And when you order your M-Lock adapter, you could buy them in different lengths. You could buy it up to, I think, six inches. I bought a three inch and it, it comes with everything. It's just, it's, it's pretty cool. And then what you're going to need is you're going to need uh, a two inch piece of three quarter inch PVC, okay? Uh, you'll, you'll find out what this is on here in a minute, but a two inch piece. This is obviously bigger than two inches. I'm just saying you need a two inch piece. A two inch piece is about that big. Okay, you're gonna need a two inch piece of PVC. So you have your swivel head, your PVC, your M-lock adapter, and you're going to need uh, a three inch, okay, by three eighths standard bolt. So three inch, three eighths thread, standard bolt. You need one of these, okay? You're going to need one and a half inch fender washers, okay? Now one and a half inch, when I say one and a half inch, I mean the distance across this way, okay? Uh, I would get four of these. I just link in the bottom to them. So I would get four fender washers, okay? Which I have there. And you're going to need a lock washer, which I believe is a lock washer. There's a link in the bottom of the description. I believe it's, if this is a 3 8 inch thread, I believe it's a 3 8 inch lock washer, okay? Because a lock washer is going to have to fit on there. All right. And then you're going to need uh, one and 5 eighths by 3 eighths hose, okay? There's a link in the bottom. You want 3 eighths ID. And this basically is a high pressure braided hose. And the reason why we need this is cause it's gonna act as a spacer, okay? So what you do is first you take off, put this aside. You take your, your saddle off. Uh, there's a bolt on the bottom, which I'll have a picture of as I'm talking, all right? You go to the bottom and this thing usually sits, you know, in here. So when you flip it over, okay, upside down, You'll have, you'll have a little tiny uh, black piece of rubber. Pull the rubber off and you could expose the Allen key, okay? When you take the Allen key out, okay? Uh, I have this one in pretty tight. When you take the Allen key out, you pop off the bottom head, you slide everything out and you slide it apart. That is what gets this out. I have this all back here together and I have it tight so I don't lose everything, but you got a couple of uh, bearings and stuff in there. Um, and then you slide it out. So like I said, you, you take out that bolt, which there we go. All right. Take out the bolt and then you take out whatever washer there. And you just, you got to kind of pry on the bottom of it, pry a bit and you get it out. It'll come out. Okay. It slides right. It's in there pretty tight, but you get that out. And once you get that out, throw your parts back together. And then you take your whole death grip. You're going to have a bunch of parts, a bunch of collars and stuff that are attached to it. Put it all together. I would use it as a boat anchor. <laughs> I'll be honest. This, this, this is a boat anchor. This thing is just, uh, This thing is like, uh, it's got to be four pounds. It might be five. It's heavy. So get rid of that, okay? Done deal. No more to saddle. Now, if you like the saddle, I mean, it, it's cool. You, I mean, you, you can use a saddle. If you like the saddle, it's cool. I need something lighter. I do a lot of stalking with hogs and stuff. So I need something else lighter to carry, okay? So then uh, you get that all together. And I'm just going to put this away because it's, just a pain in the butt. I don't want to lose parts in case I ever don't think I'll ever need it, but whatever. I could probably sell it. I think these things are like 100 bucks. But okay. Now, what you do, get your PVC. You cut your PVC to two inches, okay? The reason why you're cutting it to two inches is because inside here, inside, okay, this length right here is two inches, okay? It's actually two, it's two and a half. No, it's two inches, two inches, okay? 
you cut it two inches. Then you, you got this Gorilla Tape, right? I have a link in the bottom to the Gorilla Tape. I forgot to tell you, you gotta get some Gorilla Tape. This Gorilla Tape is mighty, mighty strong. It's like the best stuff. What you do is you take the Gorilla Tape and you, you wrap the PVC and you keep wrapping until it gets thick enough where it's thick enough to fit inside of the hole. You can see there, the PVC, it's wrapped all the way around and I wrapped it until it got tight, okay? And the reason why you do that is because it will center when you, when you plunge it all in, okay, when you plunge it all in, it'll center it. So keep wrapping the tape around and try it, wrap the tape around. You want it to be pretty tight. I had mine real tight, I banged it in and then I just took a grinder and I, gr I ground the top here and I ground the bottom. So it's flush, I mean, it looks factory, it looks really good, okay? Now, when you have that in there, okay? When you have that in there, it's gonna look exactly like that, okay? So now you have a hole that's dead center, okay? And then, all right, what you're gonna do is you're going to take your bolt, which I told you to get right here, take your bolt. You're gonna put your lock washer on the bolt. All right, and then you're going to put two washers, two of the washer I told you to get on the bottom. And this hose is a spacer because this hose fits in here tight, which will keep it centered. That's why we have another spacer. So everything is centered, okay? So you put this, all right? You put that. Get it down. All right, you put that on there so it looks like that. Then you take this and you put that there. Then you wanna grab two more of your fender washers, okay? And put them up top. All right, now the bolt itself is a 9 16 but what you do is you take your ball swivel and you hold this and you screw it on. All right, and get it the best you can by hand. All right, and then I grab my 9 16 and try to get it as tight as I can. Get that lock washer to lock down. There you go. Now what you have here is the ability to put your rifle on here and it's much lighter. You don't have this big thing on here no more. Only downfall is you have to have the M-Lock adapter on every single one of your rifles, okay? So it is what it is. But then you can take Uh, your AR-15, this actually is my built 6.5 Grendo with a Rico Bravo thermal on it for night hunting. And you take this, come up, all right, and you put it on, tighten it up, and there you go, okay? So we'll get this in the shot here, and you can see, now this thing will hold the gun. I mean, walk away, not going nowhere. Take it this way, and you have an adjustment on the side for your turn, you have your ball swivel, okay? You can go any way you want, and you lock those, and you lock that, and then there you go. And that is how you make the BOG Death Grip a whole lot lighter. And you have your ball swivel. So when you pack it up, and you're carrying it around over your shoulder, this thing is extremely light. Like I would recommend getting the carbon fiber one because the carbon fiber one is just lighter. And now with this, I mean, it's it's just ridiculous. You know, you literally, if, if you're literally walking around and it's it's small, you know? And normally what I do is uh, when I go out to a spot to hunt, I will set this up in my truck before I even get there, okay? And then uh, what I normally do is I'll keep my gun on here and I'll keep it over my shoulder and my gun sitting there. I can walk around, take the tripod, put it out, you know, scan, scan whatever you have to scan. If you see the hog or whatever is farther away, gun still on there, back over your shoulder, walk, put it back out again, do what you gotta do. So this is how the finished product looks. 
right here. I will put it in camera. Okay, and you got your bolt on the bottom. All right, and I mean, this thing is, this thing is really cool, man. I really, really like it because it's just, it's, it's so, all the stuff on it, the bearings are so nice and smooth. It just, it feels expensive. You know, you could feel the play in it and you could tighten that up and you have this for your ball joint. You could, you know, you could put your gun anywhere you want and you have this to tighten it up. You have a leveler here and you have a leveler there, a leveler there. So now that right there is how you convert your bog depth grip from this to this. I like this a whole lot more. You know, I do a lot of walking and stalking on hogs and you just, you got more versatile, you know, <laughs> what's the word I was going to use? More versatile. You know, with, with this, all you can pretty do is go like this and go like this. Okay. With this ball, you can put your gun anyway, you know, and it's, it's great. I love it. And like I said, you know, you're going to need to get the M-Lock adapter for the bottom. I'll have a picture of it. And that's it. And that is the way you convert your bog death grip to a swivel head. Now, when you go look at, at tripods, okay, tripods go anywhere from, I think the bog death grip, this one now is like 200 bucks. And I'll, I'll be honest, the money's in this. Like this is, this has gotta be the money. This thing is so darn heavy. But they go anywhere from, I'd say, a good shooting tripod, 180 to $600. But it's all about this. Cause you look at the tripods themselves, they're all, I'm not gonna say they're the same. I'd be lying to you. They're all similar, okay? It's the ball head. And if you look at some of these ball heads, like the Vortex makes one, it's $298. For just the ball head this one that's 107 is really good so i hope that this video right here uh helped you out converting your bog death grip from the boat anchor to this sexy sexy ball head right here and like i said it should work really well i like it i love it so like i said links in the description to everything I showed you in the video, from the hose, to the PVC, to the tape, everything's in the video. And like I said, remember when you do it, run the tape around your PVC and keep trying to fit it in there. And then when you get it just tight enough, that's when you stop running your tape. It's two stacks of tape. It's actually gonna be that big, the piece you have. And then once you get it in, this fits directly in there, okay? And then your, your bolt fits in there. And then you have really no space. It's like a spacer. And it's all lightweight stuff. You know, you could get an aluminum spacer cut for that. I'm trying to keep the weight off, but it's very light. This whole thing is light. So I hope this video helped you out. If it's your first time watching again, like and subscribe. Don't forget to check out BeeglerOutdoors.com. We have our online forum, which is pretty much free for you to use. Go on there, talk about hunting, fishing, whatever you want. And I really appreciate you guys watching. So once again, stay tuned. More videos to come. Beegler Outdoors, out. Thank you.